Mays Mathers for the Digital Cinema Society at NAB 2023. I'm here with Jeff Lee at the Able Cine booth, and he's going to tell us about uh, all the integration that's happening to use cinema cameras in live broadcast. What's that about? Uh, thanks, Jim. Yeah, it's great to see you again. Uh, I mean, over the past couple of years, the cinematic multicam movement has certainly exploded. And it's a lot of using cinema lenses, cinema cameras, but in a live broadcast environment. DPs really want that look that they're used to, whether it's their favorite Aerie camera or Sony Venice type camera. But the live aspect of it means that it needs to have a workflow that makes sense for that particular application. Whether it's live live or live to tape, it still needs to be treated as such. Uh, so we actually have here for the very first time for the Luxa 35 as it's a 24 volt camera system. Previous uh, Silverbacks, uh, if you wanted to power everything through the Simpty Fiber, uh, you would, on a camera like this, you would have to utilize a separate power supply. But this is the new Silverback APE, or APE. This is actually sending 24 volt power through the same Simpty hybrid cable. Uh, and all the other camera signals, whether it's video signals, return, comms, audio, data, camera control, etc., are all coming through that same system. Uh, so this is very exciting for us because now if we did want to put together this camera on a multi-camera live production and they wanted to use it in the kind of familiar workflow, they're able to do so without having to have auxiliary power supplies or batteries. It surprises me that they want to use uh, large sensor cameras with shallow depth of field uh, on live broadcast. That must be a real challenge. Yeah, no, it certainly gives the ACs a run for the money, but it's, I think, you know, it's really part of that look, telling a story, and whatever serves that creative vision, it's certainly we want to be able to provide the solutions for, absolutely. So it's not only with the Ari, but it's with the Venice 2 and... Yeah, absolutely. Venice, the Venice 2 have been really popular in this as well, but it's certainly compatible with all cameras, so it could be Canon C500, for example. Uh, really up to the, the uh, director of photography's choice. We don't want to be the ones to make that rule for them or that choice. We appreciate that. Yeah, we also have the Sony FR7 on display, too. We've really seen that utilized as sort of extra camera, extra bonus angles that we don't have to have in an uh, operated position. But it's a full-frame sensor with interchangeable lenses, so really lends that cinematic look. Uh, while integrating with the rest of the cameras that the production is using. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, my pleasure, of course. Always good.